Welcome. In this program, we will be taking a closer look at the clinical applications and benefits of the intranasal live attenuated influenza vaccine, or LAIV for short. Designed for healthcare professionals, this program highlights why LAIV is a valuable option for anyone averse to needles. We'll explore how LAIV works, its key benefits, potential side effects, precautions, and proper storage procedures. In addition, we'll review the latest guidance from the National Advisory Committee on Immunization and provide a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to administer the vaccine so you can feel confident using it in your practice. Let's begin. Influenza, commonly known as the flu, is more than just a seasonal inconvenience. It is a highly contagious respiratory disease that can lead to serious illness or even life-threatening outcomes. Common symptoms of the flu include fever, sore throat, fatigue, sneezing, coughing, watery eyes, nausea, vomiting, and muscle aches. While most people will recover within 7 to 10 days, others are at greater risk for experiencing severe complications such as trouble breathing, pneumonia, and cardiovascular complications, which may lead to hospitalization or, in the most severe cases, can be fatal. With seasonal influenza epidemics occurring annually during the fall and winter months in Canada, it is estimated that the flu causes 12,200 hospital stays and 3,500 deaths per year. Groups at higher risk of severe influenza infection include children aged 0 to 59 months, adults aged 65 years and older, people with chronic health conditions, pregnant individuals, residents of long-term care facilities, and those living in underserved communities. Serious complications such as pneumonia, respiratory failure, and organ dysfunction are more common in these high-risk groups. Annual influenza vaccination remains the most effective way to reduce the burden of illness. That's why it's essential for everyone to receive their flu vaccine every year. Convincing some people to get an influenza vaccine every year can be difficult. Even though the benefits of vaccination are well known, several barriers continue to limit vaccine uptake. One of the biggest obstacles is the fear of needles, which is especially common among young children, but also experienced by some adults. For these groups, just the thought of getting an injection can be enough to make them skip the vaccine entirely. But it doesn't have to be that way. A needle-free intranasal vaccine offers a promising alternative to reducing vaccine hesitancy and improving immunization rates while protecting those at highest risk from flu-related complications. While inactivated and recombinant influenza vaccines are administered via intramuscular injection, the live attenuated influenza vaccine is given as a nasal spray. This needle-free option can be a great alternative for people who are nervous about injections, especially young children or anyone with a fear of needles. LAIV provides immunity against seasonal influenza similar to the traditional flu shot, but in a more comfortable way, thus increasing the likelihood of more people getting vaccinated. The intranasal influenza vaccine is administered as a quick spray in the nose. Containing live attenuated virus strains, the vaccine stimulates the immune system by triggering the production of antibodies that can neutralize the flu virus upon future exposure. The vaccine is specifically designed to activate immune responses in the upper respiratory tract, which is the primary site of infection for the influenza virus. There's no evidence that the live attenuated virus in the vaccine spreads to the person giving the spray. In very rare cases, it might be passed from someone who got the vaccine to someone who hasn't, but this is extremely uncommon. 
In Canada, there is currently one intranasal live attenuated influenza vaccine approved for use, which is flu mist. According to the National Advisory Committee on Immunization, LAIV can be offered to healthy children and adolescents aged 2 to 17 years and healthy adults aged 18 to 59 years in Canada. This vaccine may also be administered to individuals aged two years and older with stable, non-severe asthma, as well as those with chronic health conditions, excluding individuals with severe asthma or immunocompromising conditions. Children with stable HIV on antiretroviral therapy medication for at least four months with adequate immune function may receive LAIV as well. LAIV is not recommended for the following groups. Children under 2 years of age, due to an increased risk of wheezing. Children aged 2 to 17 years on long-term aspirin therapy. Pregnant people due to limited safety data. People with immunocompromising conditions due to the limited data on vaccine safety and efficacy in this population. Additionally, live vaccines are generally contraindicated in immunocompromised individuals. People with severe asthma, particularly those on high-dose oral or inhaled steroids. Anyone experiencing active wheezing within the past seven days. Anyone with a prior anaphylactic reaction to LAIV or any component, excluding egg. Healthcare workers in contact with severely immunocompromised individuals due to a rare but important risk of transmitting the live attenuated influenza virus within two weeks post vaccination. If LAIV is administered, close contact with these patients should be avoided during that period. The precautions to consider when administering LAIV are as follows. Postpone LAIV if the recipient has a serious acute illness. Defer LAIV if the recipient has significant nasal congestion that may block vaccine delivery, or if the recipient has taken influenza antivirals within the past 48 hours. Carefully assess the risks and benefits of administering LAIV in individuals with a history of Guillain-Barre syndrome, GBS, having occurred within six weeks of a previous influenza vaccination. It is also important to advise patients to avoid close contact with severely immunocompromised individuals for two weeks after LAIV administration. LAIV can be administered simultaneously with or at any time before or after other inactivated or live vaccines, such as MMR, varicella, or COVID-19. LAIV is generally well tolerated. The most common side effects, particularly in children, may include nasal congestion or runny nose, headache, fever, decreased appetite or activity, cough, sore throat, irritability, and muscle aches. Severe side effects are very rare, but may include wheezing or asthma exacerbation, febrile seizures, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and Bell's palsy. It is important to note that these severe side effects are extremely rare and have not been clearly linked to the vaccine. Proper storage of LAIV is essential. Before administering LAIV, it's important to check the expiration date and ensure that the vaccine is stored properly. The vaccine should be kept in the refrigerator between 2 degrees Celsius and 8 degrees Celsius and should never be frozen. The nasal spray should also be kept in its original packaging to protect it from light exposure. LAIV can be kept at room temperature up to 25 degrees Celsius for a maximum period of 12 hours. After this period, the vaccine must be returned to refrigerated conditions between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius and used as soon as possible. Subsequent excursions of LAIV to room temperature are not permitted. Flu mist 
LAIV, is administered as a 0.2 ml dose, with 0.1 ml sprayed in each nostril. The vaccine is contained in a single-use pre-filled glass sprayer. For children aged 2 to 8 years receiving a flu vaccine for the first time in their life, two doses should be administered at least four weeks apart. For children aged 2 to 8 who have been immunized against flu in previous years, and for anyone aged 9 to 59, a single annual dose is recommended. To administer LAIV, follow these six steps. One. Check the expiration date. Note that the product must not be used after the date on the sprayer label. 2. Remove the rubber tip protector, but do not remove the dose divider clip at the other end of the sprayer. 3. Position your patient comfortably. Make sure the patient is seated upright. If you're vaccinating a child, briefly explain the process to help them feel more comfortable. Younger children can sit on a parent's lap. 4. Place the tip just inside the nostril. With a single motion, depress the plunger as rapidly as possible until the dose divider clip prevents you from going further. 5. Pinch and remove the dose divider clip from the plunger. 6. Administer the second spray by placing the tip inside the other nostril. With a single motion, depress the plunger as rapidly as possible to deliver the remaining vaccine. Discard the used sprayer into a biohazard or sharps container. After administering LAIV, the patient can resume normal activities. Advise them to refrain from blowing their nose for at least 10 minutes to ensure full absorption of the vaccine. It's important to give patients clear information about potential side effects and follow-up instructions. Be sure to emphasize that they should seek medical attention right away if they experience severe reactions like wheezing or difficulty breathing. In conclusion, the intranasal live attenuated influenza vaccine offers a trusted, needle-free and effective alternative for influenza prevention. By providing a more comfortable option, LAIV has the potential to increase vaccination uptake, especially among children and adults who are needle-averse. With proper training and technique, healthcare professionals can confidently administer LAIV and support their patients in staying protected against the flu this season.